A creative hero is someone who lives a fully creative life. Join me, Connie McLeod, in getting to know the Lunchbox Doodle Guy. Uh, my name is Jonathan Palmazano. I'm a graphic designer slash artist slash father, and I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Creativity was definitely a big part of my childhood. Uh, I've loved drawing as long as I can remember. I mean, pretty much any kind of artistic thing. Uh, I mean, dinosaurs snuck in there as well, but um, paleontology wasn't really going to be my career. Um, it was more into drawing sharks and monster trucks and stuff like that. Creativity, it, its involvement in my life is just, uh, it's a thing that I just can't, to use a double negative, I can't not be creative. I have to be creative and uh, no matter what I'm doing professionally or uh, just functionally as a human being, like in my day-to-day -day life, there has to be time for creativity or I definitely just feel like I'm not, I'm not fulfilled in the way I want to be fulfilled. I'm not living the life that I want to have. It's uh, So even if it's not literally every day um, I can tell if I'm not doing things that are creative and not getting that fulfillment um, there's a part of me that's missing. Creativity has impacted parenting for me in a lot of ways. Uh, for me uh, the, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, it allows me an immediate connection with uh, my son Jacob. It's an immediate way to connect with a child uh, because they are totally in that that world as a kid and they experience that every day. It's totally normal for them to hang out with their friends and draw or write funny stories in their notebooks or make uh, those cool little flip animations on the corner of your uh, notebook and your, for, like your science class or whatever. Um, so to me, like it's, it's automatically a connection between myself and my son. And then beyond that, it's uh, something that is important enough to me that I wanna share it with him so that he realizes that no matter how many pieces of art you sell or if you ever show it to anyone, it's something you should do. A creative muscle should be exercised because it will give you a more fulfilling experience in life. So originally I started doing napkins for, napkin drawings for my son's lunchbox when he was in pre-kindergarten. Uh, the inspiration for it was that my, uh, my mother had done uh, notes on post-its and she would put them in my lunch as a kid. And I don't really remember what any of them said specifically, but uh, I remember that. And I thought, oh, that would be a really fun thing to do. Uh, but my son is learning how to read. He can't really read yet. I was like, I should draw something. So uh, since I'm going to probably draw anyway, I might as well draw for him. And I started doing that and that became a daily routine, uh, putting them in there every day. And that has basically continued. Now he's in, he's about to go into fourth grade. Uh, and I'm sure I've missed some days, but uh, you know, I don't let it get to me. I just, <laughs> just keep going, try for the next day. It's really about creating a, a dialogue between myself and him, even when we're not together. So it's a way of me inserting myself into his day, uh, even if it's just for a few seconds right before he starts eating, uh, and him remembering that that you know his parents love him, that we're gonna see him later that day, or that I remember a moment that we had that weekend or the day before, and reminding him of that so maybe he gets a laugh. And um, I feel like any you know like they always say it's the small things that make a big difference. So if that's something I'm capable of doing, then there's really no reason for me not to do it. I just, I, as long as he's okay with getting it and not thinking it's, you know, too silly or too goofy, then uh, that's something that I can share with him for as, as, long, as long as he'll allow. We used to do a lot of collaborative drawing, uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, school projects, we always, you know, we go all out, we do... We do the whole process, but I try not to, you know, I try not to art direct too much, but, you know, uh, we, we, do, we do sketches first and really lay everything out, you know, get the design elements all right. If, if I was asked what I would want to tell myself in 10 years about this whole experience, you know, or what, if I look back and uh, was to think about it, uh, you know, 
from outside. I guess I would hope that all the things that we do as a family and together, um, that they that they've made an impact the same way that my own parents, you know, were able to impact my life. Even though my parents weren't artists per se, like they, you know, they found their own creative ways to um, encourage me or involve me in uh, the things that I was passionate about. And I would hope that I could look back and say, oh God, I'm really happy that that one time when I was really tired, but decided I had to stay up and draw that napkin. He won't remember that one specific napkin, but um, that that lunchbox doodle was, you know, an integral part of him becoming the well-rounded adult that he turns into. Because uh, that, I mean, that's my plan, obviously. <laughs> Some really interesting connections I've made through doing this were, uh, I remember at first, when I first started, I thought, um, you know, like everyone, like, we've got to get more followers. Uh, I was like, if I'm going to go through all this effort of taking these pictures and posting them, uh, as if it's like this huge labor. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll do like a little contest and see, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody might want one. Uh, what if I get them to share one of my, my pictures? And uh, I ended up mailing one to someone in Germany who was, they won the random poll I did. Um, so it's kind of cool to think like that, you know, someone may have this hanging in their dorm room or something in Germany, like a, a drawing on a napkin of a, of a character from Adventure Time, which, you know, I let them pick what they wanted. Uh, I also did some other stuff that was a little wild, like um, somebody wanted Chucky. I was like, probably I wouldn't do that for my son's lunchbox, but uh, sure, no problem. Um, and then uh, beyond that, uh, as, as it grew, I started just finding or, or getting uh, requests of, of friends, like, you know, a friend request from people who did things that were similar. Um, one of my favorites is there's this one guy, he does... Uh, he does these notes, like they're just written, but they're super sarcastic. And his daughter's a little bit older than my son, but it's just things like, you know, letting her know how much money she owes them for the groceries they bought the day before, or, you know, uh, little witty things like that that I think accomplish the exact same thing I'm trying to accomplish, but in a different way. And uh, the beauty of that is it's unique to their experience. So it's not that someone should do, you know, I, while what I do I think works for for me and my child, what someone else does with that same uh, concept, it should be uh, about your relationship with your kid, not necessarily, um, you know, I like doing this one thing. It's like what works for you and your kid, and you can get the same result, that same connection through the lunchbox. Once my son is an adult, if I, you know, and he was going to be expecting his own kids, um, I would hope that something he could carry from myself would be, uh, as I've said, that, that the small things you do on a day-to-day, -day, in your day-to-day -day life matter. And the interactions, any opportunity to interact with your child in an unexpected way is worth it. So if, you know, for him that may not be drawing on a napkin and creating his own lunchbox doodles legacy, but um, he can find his own way, uh, whether that be, you know, a funny joke that he tells his kids every morning when he wakes them up for school or um, setting aside specific amounts of time for an activity they know his, his kid or kids like that maybe he's not really that into. Um, just remembering that those moments are worth it because your child may not remember specifically that you, you know, didn't like to play a certain video game but were willing to play it with them or didn't want to read that book but read it with them but what they will remember is that you did that with them and you were there and that will be important whether they remember the specific moments or not the the overall the overall memory of you will be that you cared and you loved them and that's enough <laughs>